Hello everybody, this is Kathy Neiser with the Neiser Real Estate Group and I'm so excited to show you this new listing at 7223 Meadow Breeze. This house is a, an investor special. It needs a lot of updating. There's a, a few bigger things that need to be done too. So it's not a house that a homeowner occupant, uh, occupant would buy. This is for a cash investor. So we've listed the property at a 125,000 and um, are asking investors to go ahead and do their comps, do their, um, uh, have their contractor come out and look at the, the house and the inspection report that we provided uh, to know exactly what their offer needs to be so that they can uh, have a successful investment. So we're asking them to make the best offer that will work for them. And we're waiting until Thursday to present offers because we want contractors uh, and investors to really be able to do their numbers well. So I'm going to show you a number of things about the property and the area so that you can understand um, where things are. So I'm going to share my screen. And right now I'm going to share um, the screen with the comps on it. So uh, in the Meadow Village area, which is where this subdivision is, um, there are a number of houses that have recently been on the market and and if you see here these are the active listings and there are actually five active option listings which means five houses that have just gone under contract so it is a pretty active area the price ranges of those houses is from 119 to 195 now this 195 house is um uh well this is ours at 125. Uh, this 119 house is 1254 square feet. The 195 is 1404 square feet. I believe that's a little bit younger home. Our house is 2000 square feet, 2085. And it actually may be about maybe 600 square feet bigger than that. Uh, some of the square footage, there's a room that's enclosed and I don't know for sure that that's in the square footage. So. Uh, if houses that are nice around, around this size sell, um, I'd like to show you this house on Metal Breeze, um, which is almost the same size. Uh, and I'm going to unshare my screen so I can reshare you this new screen. So this house on Meadow Breeze is um, uh, same size. It actually has uh, no garage. It has an attached um, carport. And we can look at the pictures here. It's been very updated, very updated. Every room, new paint, new flooring, everything. And this house sold for 184,000. So ours um, priced at uh, 125,000 is actually, we believe has a lot of room there uh, for the house to be fixed up and uh, for an investor to be able to um, do well with that house. So I'm going to show you now the listing on uh, for this house, 7223, show you a few of the outside pictures. And I'm not sure that screen's showing up. So I'm having to change between a lot of screens. Here we go. So this is the exterior of the picture house. I'm going to show you the interior as we walk through it. It does have a big one-car garage and it has a two-car carport. That needs a little bit of work. So the roof on this house is recent. However, there are three types of roofing. The inspection report says that there's a regular shingle roof. There is a uh, corrugated metal part over one of the patios. And then there's a, a built up gravel section too. The built up gravel section is in need of repair. The primary roof is in pretty good condition. Uh, the air conditioning is very old and um, probably needs to be changed at some point. So I'm going through to the end here to show you the exterior pictures of the backyard and then we'll look at the house. So this is uh, one side of the backyard. Here you can see the back of the house. That, that window was broken recently, so, uh, you know, it needs to be replaced. There's mildew there that probably needs to be sprayed off. And then uh, there is a patio uh, out there with a storage shed. So. Uh, this house is 2,085 square feet, built in 1968. We do have an inspection report on it so that you can see what needs to be done to the house and how it should be repaired.
Now I'm going to stop my screen share and screen share with you our walkthrough virtual tour. So we're going to start at the front door. So when we come in the front door, um, the house is a little bit in a rectangular. This side, you go across and you come down the other side. We'll start this way. This is a big living dining combo. And if we kind of swirl around the room, you can see the condition of the property. Does need all new flooring and paint and popcorn probably removed. Unless it's being used as a rental, then you don't have to do that much. So from here in the living, we actually go into um, the dining breakfast area and the kitchen. And off to the left, we have the garage. So let's check out the dining and breakfast area. There is your kitchen. Here is the dining breakfast area, and it's a large paneled area. This, of course, is the door to the exterior. So we step inside the kitchen. I'm just going to make sure I'm still being Zoom recorded. I believe I am. Uh, inside the kitchen, you can look around here. So the appliances will probably need to be replaced. Uh, the countertops are nice. So uh, there are a couple of items, as I've said, that, that are larger that need to be dealt with. The part of the roof, um, the air conditioning system is a little old. And the electrical panel uh, is a, uh, the way the wires are going into the electrical panel with that brand, something needs to be done there. It does have copper wiring. So those are the major items. The rest of the house is, is actually not in that bad a condition at all. It just needs updating. I could tell you that the one family lived in this uh, for many, 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 many years and um, loved this house. They raised their family here and this is now an estate sale. So if you, we, we continue this way, we find a big uh, addition that is a family room. Now, if we look around, there's a gas heater, there's an air conditioning. So there is gas, heat, and electrical for this area, or gas, heat, and uh, AC. However, uh, because this may not be part of the square footage, if somebody puts in a new air conditioning system, they could easily vent it into here and, and quite possibly add this into the square footage count. Um, so this room right here is a very large room. To the left of this, we have an outdoor Florida room, which we'll go into in a minute. And we also have the master bedroom. So if we go over here. So this is the master bedroom. And I'm going to walk here so I can show you around it. So it actually has two walk-in closets. That window has been broken, so it was boarded up so for safety. Big room. This, house, this room is actually, there's an addition to part of this room. About right here on, this is an addition. Now, the inspector did note that there's a hump in the flooring about four feet out between the two closets. Um, that is very close to where the addition was started. We have no idea what's going on underneath there, but just know that there was an addition there, and it might have something to do with that. So over here, we have uh, the walk-in closet, very nice size walk-in closet. And then here we have another walk-in closet. So two big closets, his and her. There's our floor, our, our big living room. It's not really a floor to room, living room. And then here is our master bath. So the master bath, I can get inside here so you can see around, does have a walk-in shower. So there is ceramic tile uh, throughout the bathrooms of tiles in decent shape. Um, looks like it could use a little new vanity there. Uh, and then it does have some wallpaper on it. So somebody could make this bathroom look really nice. You see our camera there. This is actually a mirror. It used to exterior the property on this wall. So you can even see that hump right there in the flooring. Again, that's uh, probably where uh, the extension on this master bedroom was. So uh, once the floor is pulled up, um, you'll be able to tell what's going on there. So over here we have three bedrooms actually, which could be four bedrooms. So here you have your furnace closet. Um, right here is a guest uh, bedroom door. However, uh, what they've done in this bedroom is open the wall between the two of them. So it's a very large bedroom. 
the closet down there and there's a closet over here. So this actually could be a wall could be put up and there could be four bedrooms in this house. Now we walk outside, of course, there's the kitchen. And then we walk down the hall, there is the other bedroom. Right now it's the third bedroom and it could very easily be the fourth bedroom, okay? So we go out into the hallway again, just perspective. I'm sort of in front of the front door. We went down the living area before and around through the, lib the big living, the breakfast room, then the big living room over to the master down this hall to the very large bedroom there, which is actually could be two bedrooms to this bedroom. And we're standing right across now from the, the guest bath. So this is the guest bath. You can see it's in, in pretty nice condition, actually. A um, little bit of decorative tile. May want to change it, but may want to keep it. There's a little bit of wallpaper in this bathroom as well. And then we go out here. You can see some decorative tile in front of the front door. Again, and now we're back to the living room. So you can see how we went around the house. So let's go out and look at the garage. Okay, I'm going to go into the garage. Now to get into the garage, I need to actually look at the floor plan. And so I'm gonna go here. So here I am at the garage, a few little things still in there. This again is an estate sale. So uh, nobody's living here right now. The garage door is still shut, sealed shut. It does work. Uh, it's, it's mainly just for safety. So there's a garage heater is. Um, this is where, um, I believe the wash and dryer connections are. Here's another little room here, uh, a little utility room, storage room, what have you. This is where the dryer vent is. So the dryer, I believe, is in this room. And then if we go out here, this is a Florida room. So in this Florida room, if we look, there's that living room that was the extension. Both of them have red carpet. This is the Florida room, it has paneling. Now, this picture was taken right before rain. So uh, this Florida room uh, obviously has some leaks. So something needs to be addressed there. If you look this side, there is a lot of yard over here to the side. Back here, you can see the storage shed and the little patio. And then to the other side is where uh, I showed you with the rest of the yard. So now we're looking at the Florida room from another area. So. This house has so much potential. I'm going to stop my screen share for just a minute and go to um, the map. So my map closed, but here we are. The zoom, it takes whatever's windows open. So uh, to zoom out a little bit and get in perspective where we are, um, this is 151 and this is highway uh, four, loop 410. So around Loop 410, you have the Acadiana restaurant, you have a big HEB there, uh, pizzas, Motel 6. Meadow Breeze actually runs right into uh, Loop 410. A little farther on, there is some little uh, neighborhood uh, pond creeks. Um, there's a La Fiesta grocery store over here, pizza places. This is Marbach Road. Of course, John Jay High School is right here. Uh, Anson Jones Middle School is over here. Meadow Village Elementary is right there, just down the street on Meadow uh, Breeze to Meadow Way, and you have Meadow Village. It's right next to the corner. So um, the house is very well uh, located, and the comps on this house are um, really proof that there's a lot of room uh, in the pricing. Again, I want to review the comps just a bit uh, so that you can see exactly where we are with pricing. Now, um, these are all the houses that have sold or are, are selling or are for sale in the greens right here. These are the ones that are for sale and uh, an active option means that it recently went under contract. So half of the ones there just about are under contract recently. Prices went from 119 all the way to 195. Now that 119 is 1254 square feet. So our listing is 2085, 
Plus, there may be an extra 600 square feet in there that's not counted in the square footage. We're not sure. Um, but uh, that is a very large, in fact, it's the largest one of all of these houses. And the sales prices went from 119 over to 195. I want to show you another house in the same neighborhood. And uh, I'm going to share my screen with you again for that. This house um, actually sold at one, uh, listed 186, and it sold at 184. So a really nice house, and it's been totally updated, and it's the same size as the one uh, we're looking at. So here, um, you can see it's got a carport. I don't even think it has an enclosed garage like our listing does. And this house has been totally updated. So uh, totally updated, uh, our house, if it was like this, could be you know possibly 184 like this house sold for. Um, so an investor really needs to look at what needs to be done, paint flooring for sure, probably air conditioning, maybe part of that roof, uh, electrical work, some, um, and then some maybe some updating in the bathroom and the kitchen to get it to 184. So again, we're listed at 125, and um, we think that's a pretty fair number uh, for our listing because, um, you know, it, it does need some work, but we're, uh, we're pretty confident that uh, that is a fair price. However, we do want investors to send us the offer that works for them. Uh, with these numbers. It is an as-is estate sale. The seller's not going to do any repair whatsoever. So please make your offers uh, consistent with those uh, expectations. There is an inspection report. If you need a copy of it, email it to us, and we are happy to um, send it to you, as well as any other information that you need on the property. Uh, and that If we know it, we'll give it to you. So we are not, again, presenting offers until Thursday because we want buyers to be able to look at the property, have their contractors look at it. It is a cash-only buyer house, so no conventional loan, no FHA, no VA, so no need to even take those buyers through it. Um, that's pretty much wraps up our virtual open house. If you have any questions uh, or anything, please call us at the NISA Real Estate Group. That's 210-638-7701. 210-638-7701 and we're happy to help you. Thanks again for watching this virtual tour and we look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.